Hey everybody, this is Brandon Berman and we're going to take a look at tracking a camera. Um, this is just an introductory look at it, but basically uh, being able to figure out where the camera was, uh, how it's turning as we move around, so that we could place objects into the video and make it seem as if it were there or track with it. So let's get started. First thing uh, I've got is just this video here that we can take a quick peek at which just has me you know doing a quick pan with the camera uh, with this guy you know holding the slow sign um, so that's all this video has on it so we can uh, control click and choose track camera or go up to animation and track camera or there are multiple ways to initiate a track camera I'm gonna just control click and choose track camera and you'll see that it's analyzing and over here in our effects area, we can see that uh, it's starting to initialize, taking a look at all of the, you know, making sense of all this video footage to try to uh, recreate the camera that was used. Also, I've got this tracker uh, palette open to help out as well, and you can find that under the window and then tracker. So here we are going around about 78%. All right, so we're almost done, and as soon as it's done, you're going to see uh, it solve. So it's solving the camera, and once that's done, which it is now, you can see that as I move my cursor around, there's all these little colorful little, um, I don't know what you'd call them, crosshairs. And it's what it's doing is tri triangulation. So this one actually looks pretty good. So between these three points, uh, sort of by that tree, it's you know finding this this plane that we could put something in there and then whatever we put in there would stay at that plane as the camera moves around so um, so you can see this is just gonna swipe through here so we can kinda take a look uh, maybe over here uh, this isn't too bad um, but you can choose more by clicking and making a selection and then uh, sometimes you might have something that's like not on the right spot so you could you can get rid of these different points holding down the option and, and click excuse me not option uh, the controller command key and I can remove them I see this so that hopefully you can get a better see that one didn't help um, that one didn't help me just do it again here but hopefully the idea by removing bad ones you can get a uh, better you know a figuring of the plane that you're trying to get here so I think for this it worked pretty well just to get like this one right here or there was an area that was pretty good that looks pretty good to me I'm gonna select that and then if I want to uh, attach something to that we can control click here and then um, we'll go ahead and start by creating a text um, and camera so we'll take a look at that and what's happened is it built a text uh, that's 3D and it did a 3D camera tracker and I'll go ahead and take a look at all of the animations as you can see here that the 3D camera tracker is set up to basically follow um, this and we put some text on there as well so we can change that first thing I'm going to do is have that text um, stand upright so there we go so you can just see that I'm going to about 90 on the X rotation Okay, and uh, so I've got some text right there and I'm going to go ahead and just change the text to say slow sample the color from this guy's red hat and make it a little bit bigger select bold okay now, uh, now that I've got that on there, I could do some fine tune adjusting if I wanted to as far as changing the X, Y, and Z, but I think it looks not bad. Um, could see about rotating it. It seems like it's staying pretty well on that plane. So I'll just set it uh, like so. And uh, let's test the movie and see what happens. You see that text just follows right along. A 
Okay, let's try uh, let's try adding uh, another one. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, bring these down. And uh, if we wanted to add another tracker, then uh, over here with this selected, the slow selected, uh, we might not have to analyze because we can click this render track points and uh, they are still there so that's good so we're able to get our uh, points again and what I'm thinking this time is we'll put something on that flag so if I zoom in a bit we move down see if we can have a better luck at a different point in time there 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 Let's go sooner. All right, we'll go with this one, this one, and this one. And what we're going to do is put a, let's make another flag here to have this follow. So I'll control click and choose uh, create a solid. And then uh, we'll get that solid a little larger. And I'm going to kind of modify it here. Uh, so if I select it and I go to layer solid settings, I'm going to choose a different color, maybe this red again. Okay. And kind of adjust this a little bit to get it more like the way the the pole is. So I think I'm going to need to rotate around this. Let's try rotating around the x-axis. Okay, we're pretty good there. There we go. That's kind of what we need. Okay. And then um, I'm going to move this over uh, using the anchor point. I'm going to just slide this away from the anchor point, get it connected up with that. There we go. Need to do just a little bit more rotation, as you can see. So I'm just going to do a little bit of fine tuning here. I'm going to try to cover that other piece up. It's a big flag. There we go. Big flag. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and test the movie. And now our little guy's holding a very large flag that's, that's tracking very well with our video as well. So that gets us started. We'll look at more tracking later on.